Good afternoon, my name is Scott Rutledge, Chief Strategic Officer at T3Live.com. Welcome to today's recap and look ahead. 观众朋友们，大家好，欢迎收看今天的直击美股节目，我是张叔，在纽约向您问好。周一美股收高，而我们看到能源板块以及通信板块是今天推涨市场的两大主要板块。而今天在早盘开盘的时候呢，市场是受到了来自巴黎恐袭的一些影响。而在此呢，我们也对巴黎的民众表示深深的关心。在恐怖主义面前，我们的心与你们同在。而今天原油成为了另一个领导市场的一个因素，特别是在普世发布的最新的一个研报，研究显示，欧佩克石油输出国组织十月份的一个石油产量是总计下。降了十二万桶，而这也是连续第三个月欧佩克石油输出国组织的产量在下降了。好，让我们来看一下今天市场的一些个股情况。道琼斯工业指数报收于一万七千四百八十三点零一点，上涨二百三十七点七七点，上涨幅度达到百分之一点三八。标普五百报收于两千零五十三点一九点，上涨三十点一五点，上涨幅度达到百分之一点四九。纳斯达克综合指数报收于四千九百八十四点六二点，上涨五十六点七三点，上涨幅度达到了百分之一点一五。Hi Scott, we came to know the horrible terrorist attack in Paris today, and the stock market rallied in the afternoon. So, how do you think about the overall performance? Well, I think a lot of people were concerned over the weekend. What kind of effect would it have in the market? So, when we came in today. With the future somewhat flat, I think it was pretty impressive stance by the market. You also had Europe that was open, you know, last night that、um, opened lower and absorbed the the weakness, and then also in in Asia wasn't really that affected. So you know there was a ways to look opportunistic on the on the overall market. If you look here at the SPX, you will see technically we've talked about this double bottom over the course of the past few weeks, and then how this eight-day moving average trend broke last week around. What was that? 2090. So coming in today near old support, sometimes you get a reversal. So we had 2022 as prior support. We traded below it just a little bit and came up. So now that's what we trade against. But the question is, you know, will we be able to reclaim these moving averages? So I think the next obstacle for the markets is to see if we can close back above this 2065 to 2075, or does it get rejected there as another lower high? For、uh, for some more weakness to settle in. Okay. Also, last week we talked a lot about Apple, and it seems like people would have already made money if they buy、mm. the dip, right? And but it seems to me like Apple reversed a little bit today. So how do you think about that? Well, Apple helped the market. You know, we came in this morning was down like a dollar into big support after being down six, seven sessions. So I think it was you know good for today that that Apple found support, but it really has to prove itself. That it's going to build off that. If you look at the chart of Apple last week, we talked about the actual hole in the stock. Remember the big gap down on earnings, which was right here, which was boom gap down, never filled this. Okay, so that gave you downside weakness, and then today it held above prior support and did what we call a little bit of a red dog reversal, where it trades above a prior pivot at 112.、Uh, 27 and closed. Okay, so we'll see what happens here. You know, you have some big resistance in Apple. If you bought it today. I would say be very careful not to maybe hold too you know long if it can't reclaim this 116 area, which will be resistance. Okay, and also Baidu and Baba are amongst stocks that catch our eyes today, and also, as we know that Baidu are down for like 13 percent this year, but it seems like there's a turning point for Baidu and Baba today. So, how do you think about that? Well, I think. Baidu is acting really well. Technically,、yeah. it didn't pull back at all, you know, during the course of the last week. And Baba's trying to find support. So both of them were on our traders' radars. If you look at Baidu, you know, being you know technically best in breed, you know why? Because it held above、um, this recent support. A lot of stocks came in and tested the 21-day or even lower. This held moving sideways. So you had your first, you know, nice pivot to buy down here, and now it's going sideways. So if you're still in Baidu, technically it looks good. And I think if it gets a trade over this 202, you might see a move back to high. So this would be a technically good area, you know, if it can get through. As far as Baba is concerned, it just had a, you know, a decent pullback. Okay, it had a big run. So if you remember from down here. Where it had that engulfing bar to all the way up there, that's a that's a big move. So for it to come back and hold support, I think you could try and be long Baba versus today's low, and that's a 75.64, and your next resistance comes in a little bit closer to this 82 area. You had a few things go on in, in the market、mm -hmm. where the S&P held up 
you know, after pulling in four and a half percent last week, you had some key names like Apple, you know, uh, bounce for the first time. You had some other high beta names like Baidu, Baba, Netflix, Google, Amazon. They also bounce off the lows with Facebook. So we'll see if it builds. As of right now, it's just a good trade. And I think if you took some off at the end of the day, that's great. And um, at this point, you know, the bulls have the ball and the bears have to take it back. 好的，观众朋友们，在今天的节目当中，我们讲到了包括苹果、百度以及阿里巴巴，希望您能从我们的节目当中有一些收获。感谢您收看我们今天的节目，我是张叔，我们明天再见。